YouTube, what is going on? Theo Bean here, and today we are going our hard mode boss guide for Kadistu, who is a brand new boss in Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance and specifically for the Vengeance playthrough. So she is the first, I guess, technically second unique boss that we play through in her story. And this is essentially going over how to make quick book of her and going through how to best deal with her unique skill. So her biggest mechanic, which is her unique skill, is called Capitulate to Pleasure. Sorry if I mispronounced that. It's a odd word. Essentially, what she does is she does a AoE attack, which will charm everybody, as well as lower, or sorry, which will also just completely re remove any buffs that your team has. So the best way to kind of counter this is one, just avoiding anything that we can do to help avoid charm. So for this instance, what I ended up doing was I actually changed my Nahabino's affinities. I gave him Asperus's affinities because she is completely immune to charm. I am also using Asperus on my team because to help avoid this mechanic completely. Uh, with this, right, this essentially helps negate how much damage control you're doing during her fight. Because outside of this move, I don't think there's any sort of way to block this or stop this in any way shape or form so by just resisting or being immune to charm is the best thing that you can do so with this having two people with their affinities that are immune to charm i then have to spend less time using items or skills like amrita soda uh to essentially remove charm and put everybody back together so talking of the fight right her only weakness is physical um this is actually really cool i think she is the first boss that we fight that has a physical weakness which is also great because i'm going for a physical damage build so over the course of the fight all i'm doing is essentially maximizing my damage i have bicorn who is also immune to dark uh, aspirus uh hero mine is also immune to dark damage as well when you see her start to gather Magatsui, she's going to use Mudan, I believe, which is a AoE weak dark damage type skill to all your party members. So by either using a dark dampener or just taking the hit, this will essentially guarantee that she only gets the one turn um, because two people that you'll have in your party do block it if you're using either Yoko or Bicorn. I'm also using Bicorn because he is a strong physical attacker, help exploiting her weakness for this as well. Asperus has a skill to remove um, status conditions, as well as having uh, an immunity to charm, which is very, very nice. Yoko, again, also immune to dark, as well as being a human character. She can also use items as well. Uh, quick little tip, so if you don't know, any human characters can use items, so you don't specifically have to use them on the Nahabino. Yoko can also use them as well, but your demons in your party will not be able to use your items. So plan and strategize with this in combat accordingly. Essentially, the main thing for the fight is just making sure that you're debuffing her. Focus on debuffing her, as you'll see that I did as well. Uh, striking her physical weakness, spamming charge with bite corn, and then just using whatever skill you want. Um, and then I'm just spamming Aramasu with my Nahabino uh, against her. So this is pretty much it for the fight. Uh, just use Dark Dampener if you would like to. Uh, as soon as she starts charging your Magatsui, this will just block it completely. It's probably easiest to have Yoko do this because she's essentially just a support. Slash just helping, you know, people at the time being and just blocking attacks. So uh, and then just use your best attacks, support items when needed. Just... Focus on staying not debuffed or not having charm on your characters, and then just attacking her physical weakness when you can. Um, even for a hard fight, this will make quick work of her and make it super duper easy. Uh, so you'll be ending up breezing through it as well. Hopefully, that guy gives you what you need in order to beat this fight, make it nice and easy for you. If you guys like the content, please, if you can, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below what you think of this boss fight she's technically the second the first one was pretty minuscule uh, pretty straightforward but let me know what you guys thought of this boss fight i thought it was pretty cool her skill seems incredibly strong i'm assuming that at some point we'll be able to fuse her she's pretty pretty crazy strong uh her skill does remind me of somebody else in the game 
But that is going to be it, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace and deuces. See ya.